Go! Grace it out? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Three, two, one, throw! Good throw, Grace it. High five. All right, ready? Shannon, you're gonna have to catch this for can. I'll catch it. All right. I'll go! <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Porter! Did you throw it great? Did you just toot? <laughs> oh, you did. It smells. <laughs> Hello, good afternoon everyone. Um, we are coming in here on a Friday afternoon. Um, I said afternoon twice, I guess. I don't know. Um, the boys just woke up from naps. Porter took a horrible nap and Gray took a good nap, but Gray's a little sad. I think he was just feeling a little hangry, so he's eating some banana. I don't know if you can see him over my shoulder, but he's having some banana and some veggie straws, and he said his tummy is feeling happier now. Um, I've got Porter here on the counter. I'm watching him. Say hi. Hey. Hi. He's just sitting playing with our paint brushes. Oh, are you brushing your hair? Oh, good job. <laughs> so I'm standing right in front of him so he does not fall. I got that cute clip of Anthony playing with the boys on his lunch break. They hi. think it's so fun to... Oh, you want to say hi? Hi. Say hi, Gray. Hi. Hi, what are you eating? What are you eating? Hi. Hi. Oh, is your tummy feeling so happy now? Yeah. Oh, good. I'm glad. Okay, sorry, Gray. wanted to say hi. hi. I took that cute clip of Anthony and the boys playing, throwing the balls up and down the stairs on his lunch break. The boys love um, throwing the balls up and down the stairs and catching it. They can't really throw it, so Anthony and I have to do it, but they think it's so much fun. They were having fun. I had to get that clip because it was so cute. But anyway, it is Friday. Anthony's almost done with work. We've got about two hours left, and then he will be done. We are actually going to go look at a house tonight. I'm feeling pretty good about it. It's in um, an area, again, that I thought we wouldn't go with but it's seeming like this area is more and more like just kind of where we need to go because we can get a really good house for our money compared to the places we've been so we're gonna go look at this house and if we like it maybe we'll put an offer on it this would be, if we put an offer on this house this would be offer number five so um, we'll see our realtor texted us um, earlier this week and said that they have noticed um, kind of like a change in the market and I have Porter now and the fact that um, there's kind of less buyers people aren't bidding as high as before so um, maybe there's a chance that we could win this house this house looks really really nice um, I might video it but I might not it's always so weird to like video houses when you're with your realtor because they're like walking right behind you Anthony and I were saying like we kind of wish we could just like go in and walk around ourselves instead of just having like someone behind you awkwardly the whole time okay sorry I had to change Porter's diaper he was poopy um but yeah so we're gonna look at this house and maybe by the end of this weekend we will sorry I'm going in the dark garage maybe by the end of this weekend we will have another house I don't know I'm really hoping that we can be done with this, but um, anything can happen as we have seen over the last couple months. If, if anything can happen, it usually does with our luck. So we'll see. That would be an awesome Mother's Day present though to you know have our new house and be done with that process. Mo this is Mother's Day weekend, so it's on Sunday. Um, we don't really have a lot of plans. I told Anthony I wanna sleep in. And I gave him some acts of service I'd like him to do for me. <laughs> Can you put your socks on? So I'd like him to um, fix this flapper on, on the toilet upstairs. 
I've been asking him for a while to do that. And then our wheel on our um, wagon was is crooked. And so we got a new one sent to us by Radio Flyer. And so it needs to be replaced. So I asked him to do that and then to let me sleep in. So I think that's what he's going to do instead of getting me gifts. I just want acts of service. So anyway, Mother's Day um, this weekend. Um, Gray is supposed to have soccer tomorrow, but it has been raining non-stop, legit. Sorry, I'm going in my basement. It has been raining like crazy, and so they actually canceled his game for tomorrow because the fields are too wet, so he doesn't have that tomorrow. So our weekend really is pretty open. Um, it has been raining, like I said, non-stop. I'm hoping it doesn't rain at some point this weekend so we can mow because our yard is getting long again. Um, but we'll see what the weather decides to do. Um, uh, on the topic of Mother's Day, I wanted to show you guys, Gray went to preschool this week and he made me the cutest like little Mother's Day sheet. It's like all about my mom and like, there was like fill in the blank so I'll show you guys because it is hilarious okay so here it is all about my mommy so it says my mommy's name is mom she is 22 years old I wish and six feet tall I wish I was that tall her hair is black and her eyes are brown her favorite food is ham I don't know why my favorite food is ham she's really good at the park my mommy's job this is hilarious to play magnetiles Anthony was like, well, yeah, technically, I guess it is because you're a stay-at-home mom. <laughs> she likes to do jumping jacks and does not like to color. I like to color. And it says, I love when my mommy reads to me. So I thought that was really cute. Um, I guess he made that during preschool. I'd love it if he made one for Anthony for Father's Day, but since that's in the summer, I don't know if he's gonna do that. Grayson actually only has one more week of school, and then he will be off for the yeah. summer, which is just wild to me that that is over. Um, I feel like the school year just like flew by. So I'm getting my shoes on. Um, the kids are like impatient, they wanna go outside now, at least Porter. So yeah, he's got one more week, two more classes, cause he only goes twice twice a week. And then he's gonna be done, so that's just wild to me. Um, his teachers did a end of the year like school assessment on him and um, gave it to me so I could review it. And basically it's like, he knows all his numbers, he knows all his letters, he, he's got that all down, you know, shapes, everything. But his conflict resolution, he scored very low. They said it's like the child uses actions more than words when expressing themselves, which is totally Grayson. And then also he needs to work on his um, following the rules. That sounds like Grayson. And um, listening, following directions and um, body awareness, knowing um, everyone's personal space, which is totally on par with Grayson. So I thought that was really interesting, but it was all good, um, basically what we knew. So, And thankfully, he's gonna go to preschool again next year, more times a week next year, um, four days a week next year. And so he should be able to um, work on those skills. Another skill that he got rated kind of low is um, holding scissors. We don't practice that at home. I should be doing that, but I don't. And so that's something that he'll work on next year at preschool too, is gluing and scissors. So um, yeah, so it was all good things. And now we're gonna go outside. Are you guys ready to go outside? No. Porter's digging in the trash like always. You ready to go outside? Okay, let's go.